Hi Libra, welcome to your Love Connection reading for January. This is Mary and it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this Libra will be a look into a connection that you have with somebody. So it has to be an actual connection. Um, you don't have to be committed or exclusively dating, but it has to be a mutual connection between the two of you of some kind. If you like somebody and they have no idea who you are, then you might want to watch the singles reading I do every month and see if maybe uh, that energy is picked up on in those readings. So just to let you know that. So this has to be an actual connection of some kind. So any kind of connection. So let's see what we have for Libra. Welcome, welcome. Happy January already. Happy New Year. This will be out before... Um, Christmas though, so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for those of you who do celebrate Christmas and New Year's. And let's see what we have for Libra. So first thing I'm gonna do here, Libra, is get a sign. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. You could get a sign, element, or planet. So we'll see how, what comes out, how it resonates in your reading. And if this part, like I said, doesn't resonate for you, then that's totally fine. So we have Mars, and I believe that's Aries. So Mars is Aries. So yeah, you could be dealing with an Aries. If not, totally fine, or they could have it somewhere in their chart. So Mars is about competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, and confidence. So it's all those like... Um, those energies, those like uh, aggressive, like uh, go-getter passionate kind of energies so see how that plays into your reading and Aries does represent the Emperor in the tarot which can be you know like a boss a ruler someone in charge someone who takes control so I don't know if that means anything so so the first thing I'm going to do here now Libra if you're not familiar with my readings I'm going to get an overall love energy between you and your person whoever you're thinking about at this time so let's see. This is dated for January, but it's, you know, whenever you see it. So, I mean, I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So um, playlists are down below in the description box if you'd like to go back and watch past readings. So the mutual energy between the two of you here is strength. Now, this is Leo energy. It doesn't have to be, but this could be a very, very strong, strong connection between the two of you, or it could be very passionate. Um and you have the eight there, which is like the infinity symbol. So this could be, you know, a connection that maybe just keeps going in circles or back and forth. But yet it's a very strong connection. And you can't seem to like really let go of one another. But also this is about, you know, being brave and strong and courageous. But it's also about willpower, endurance and taming the beast from within. So, I mean, it could be a very strong bond. Or maybe someone here is trying to control the situation or it could be someone's really trying to control how they feel, kind of holding it inside because they don't want to come forward and confess how they truly feel. But we're going to see um, we're going to see here what's going on. So the next thing I'm going to do, Libra, is I'm going to get one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling about each other and the connection. So Libra, I'm going to put you here, your person there. But if at any time during the reading you feel like the energies are switched at any time, then please switch them. All right, so let's get, as you know, not every single thing may resonate. So take what resonates, throw away the rest, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows the deal, right? Okay, so let's get one more. Okay. All right, so let's see what your energy is, Libra. So we have flow. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be, but this is about, you know, things going in a better direction. You know, fate, this is the wheel of fate, fortune, destiny, um, things just getting better, things flowing in the right direction. So you feel like this connection is a strong bond, I feel, and it's just like going in the right direction. Like everything may be going good right now, or you feel like it is, or you want it to with this person. And then they have confront, 18. So I believe this is the moon. So the moon here, um, I believe that's the moon. Yeah. So the moon can represent very deep feelings. And now this is Cancer or Pisces. So we got three major arcana here. So the moon can represent, you know, really, really, I just noticed here that 
One and eight is nine. So the first card that came out come out was eight, nine, and then we have ten. Wow. And you Libra a seven, so it's seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's just weird. Okay. So and that's progression. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. So they have the moon. So that could be about um, you know, really deep feelings and emotions, not seeing things clearly. Um, you know, you can't see everything clearly in the moonlight. It can also be about, you know, connecting to intuition. It could also be about secrets or secrets coming to light. Somebody may be confronting their shadow side, but that's more of the um, devil energy. But this is the moon. So I don't know. Maybe they're really facing how they truly feel about you. You know, maybe, you know, they've been trying to control it here, like not wanting to tell you, not wanting to face it. And now it's like they can't fight, can't fight their feelings anymore. So they're confronting that and maybe telling you how they feel i don't know so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck seek the truth so this is the seven of swords i believe yeah it's the seven of swords so this is about um i just want to make sure yeah it's the seven of swords so the seven of swords can be about uh deceit self-deceit you know wearing a, a false mask and like not uh speaking your truth so I feel like here somebody is seeking their truth from deep, deep within and finally facing how they truly feel. They just can't deny the strong bond anymore. And you you definitely want things to go in a better direction here with the Wheel of Fortune. You feel like things are getting better or they will get better. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you. You know, in that Mars about... Um, assertion aggression competitiveness and um confidence and courage you know maybe they're now finally just getting the courage to step up to the plate and really face it and tell you and realize you know i can't turn away from this connection anymore it's just too strong and now you know they're seeking that truth from within and you're i feel like you could be seeking the truth too you know, like how do you really feel about me you know is this going to flow is this going to go um in a better direction because the wheel of fortune is all about things meant to be divine fate destiny here so let's see let's clarify for you with the wheel of fortune libra that's too many clarify the wheel of fortune for libra eight of cups so that's an energy of walking away uh water energy here so it's an energy of like walking away but also walking to something more fulfilling so we're going to clarify that so i don't know i don't know if you thought about walking away from this person maybe they're just you know taking too long or you're just walking towards them maybe you left something behind and walk you know and now you're walking towards them so let's see what they have here with the moon so they have the eight of pentacles so they could be working on themselves here like confronting you know this earth energy now so i get the feeling now like they're really working on themselves you know, they're working on coming forward and telling you how they truly feel. They just can't fight it because we've got 8-8. Eight, eight. It's about taking action, movement, travel kind of energy. So, and I feel like, and, you know, the 1 and 8 there with confront, that does equal 9. And 9 is usually about wish fulfillment and that kind of energy. So I feel like they're working on themselves to really take control and really, you know, deal with their feelings so they can forward to you to tell you how they truly feel before you walk away that's what i feel maybe you're thinking about walking away maybe you th maybe you think there's something better out there because this person is just you know they're not like coming forward to say how they feel maybe they kind of keep you in limbo and you're like you know so i don't know let's see um the eight of cups why is the eight of cups here for libra with the wheel justice yeah you want fairness and balance. You want them to do what's just and right in this connection. That's your energy, Libra, justice. So yeah, you want you want that balance. You want that equality. You want that truth and clarity. You want justice to be served in this connection. That's what you want. Or you'll walk away. You know, you're like, things are going to get better. You have to tell me how you feel. What are we doing here? Can we work on it? So they're trying trying really hard here to work on themselves so they come forward to you before you walk away. They know you're waiting for justice. 
They know you're waiting for uh, them to do what's just and right. Because you're just seeking the truth over here. All right, so what do they have here? The Ace of Cups, right. So, <laughs> wow, brand new beginning in love. Water energy here, right. So, yeah, they do want this. They do want this brand new beginning in love. And I feel like they're really working on themselves so that you can both have this divinely guided brand new beginning in love, emotions and feelings overflowing. Maybe they have such deep feelings for you that they just don't know how to face it. They don't know how to handle it. So they've tried to like submerge it down within to really suppress it, to try to control it. And now it's like they just can't anymore. So they're working on themselves. So they come forward to you for this brand new beginning in love. Look at all those emotions and feelings they have overflowing there. And that's coming over on their side with the moon, which the moon is also about those really, really deep, deep feelings. So, yeah, I feel like they're really working on themselves, getting up the courage and the strength to come forward to you to say, okay, this is how I feel, and I'm ready to start this brand new beginning. I just couldn't deal with my feelings and how strong they were. Maybe they never felt like that before with anyone. Wow, okay. They, they could see you getting ready to walk away. It's like, you know, you're you're waiting for the truth. You're waiting for them to confess how they feel. You're waiting for that justice. And it's like, you know what? If this wheel doesn't start turning in the right direction, then I may just leave. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles energy. So this is an energy and it just fell in reverse. So I usually don't take reversals unless they fall reversed. So um, I don't intentionally put reversals in my deck because I feel like you're just asking for a negative reading. So Spirit tells me not to. And Spirit tells me when it's meant to be reversed, you will get it reversed. And this one just fell out reversed. So it's meant to be here. So the Four of Pentacles upright is about, you know, holding back. You know, not giving, not, you know, holding back, not giving, you know, just protecting yourself kind of energy. In reverse, though, it's like not holding back anymore. It's like <laughs> I've been holding on and holding on to this person for so long, waiting and waiting for them that I'm just about ready to let go here with the Four of Pentacles and walk away if justice isn't served. And they could sense that. And they want, they got a lot of feelings here. They want this uh, brand new beginning in love. Look at all their emotions like overflowing. I feel like maybe they've, you know, been in kind of darkness and just didn't know how to deal. And now it's like they see the light and they realize, okay, that person is my peace, my harmony, you know, my love. Look at that. The Two of Cups just fell over on this clump here so I'm going to take it and I feel that one so yeah two of cups here two people coming together and soulmate union divinely guided here yeah they definitely want to come into union with you and they're really working working and right in the middle there is the seven of wands energy fire energy so it's an energy of like being on guard defensive kind of energy um it's like standing up for what you believe in also So I feel, I don't know, let's get um, a couple more here. That's too many. A couple more here to clarify. Why is the seven of wands in the middle here? Why is this defensive energy here? Five of wands. So it just kind of reversed on me. So this is like no more conflict, fire energy. No more conflict, no more competition, mental conflict, so, yeah, it's like you're ready to step out of this mental conflict and just let go and walk away. And they see that and they maybe they see that you're starting to put your defenses up. Like, you know, like no longer like if it's been in and out or just, you know, having a fling here and there. It's like now they see you putting up your defenses here saying, you know, no more of that unless this goes deeper or further. I, you know, we know we have feelings for each other that, that run deep. So, you know, and they see that. So now, yeah, now they want this soulmate union. They want this brain beginning in love. So what do we have here? The hermit. Yeah, they've gone inside and they've done their introspective work. They've done their healing. They found their way, their light. They did that deep soul searching. And I just said they've seen the light. And there's the light. That <laughs> This is my person. It's like they know now. They know now, and they're holding up that light, and it's right on the Two of Cups in the Ace of Cups. Wow. Yep, they can see. They can see now that you're putting up your defenses and coming out of this mental conflict and, like, I'm not holding on anymore. I'm ready to walk away. If they don't come in and serve me justice in this, 
um, walking away. And they see that. They see that. And they're like, I can't lose this person. I want soulmate union. I want this love. I'm working on myself, working on coming towards for them with all this love and emotion, this strong, strong uh, energy between the two of you. So, and maybe deep down you can sense that this may happen, but you don't see it happen. Because, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is something meant to be. It's, you know, things going in the better direction. So that's your energy. So you kind of feel like things are going that way, that they might go that way, maybe with your intuition. But, um, but you're not, like, seeing it yet in the physical. So this is your advice. So we got the Three of Swords. So this is, you know heartache, pain kind of energy, but then you got the four of wands. So your advice is here that you will get this commitment. I mean, you're heartbroken, feeling sad, like right now that they will not commit if that's what you're, you know, looking for or whatever here. But this four of wands is about commitment. It can be about marriage. It can be about just living together. It can be about people coming together and being stable together. So, you know, you're a little heartbroken that, you know, that's not coming into fruition yet, but the energy is here. So let's get, let's get a couple more to clarify here for the Three of Swords and the Four of Wands. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> so we have the Queen of Wands. So that's fiery, passionate. That's that go-getter. Could be that Aries energy, that go-getter, fiery, passionate energy you know someone who is strong they're brave they go after what they want energy so that's your energy even though you're air you're a libra you may be in that very passionate fiery um energy also but then we have the sun so this is total happiness and joy success victory enlightenment yeah on their side like they have this enlightenment look at all the light now with the dove for the peace and the harmony the light of the hermit and now the sun it's like they're totally enlightened now and they know it's like, they're like, I know where my happiness and joy is. So I want to give them this commitment that they want. That's on their side. And they see over here that how fiery and passionate you are about them and the connection. But how, how broken, heartbroken you are right now because they're not coming forward and expressing how they feel or committing or proposing or whatever you're hoping for. I'm not sensing that they are involved with anybody else. I mean, maybe they went through something before they met you and that's why they're holding back. Or it could be that, you know, it's just they never had a connection like this before and it just scared them to death. So Libra, let's see what your possible outcome will be. So your advice is to stay in that fiery, passionate energy. Know the sun is coming out over the moon. It's like the sun, everything becomes enlightened in the sun energy because now they got the moon to the sun. So they've, be, they've become enlightened. They've healed, you know, they're healing. They see the way, they see the light, they see this love, they see this union, they see it could be a soulmate twin flame here, definitely. Two cards of twin flame, the four of wands and the sun soulmate with the two of cups. So don't lose hope. I think don't give up on this person, though you may feel like it. But I see that energy coming in. It could be by the summer time, so if you can hang out for that long. Seven of Swords. So, yeah, you feel like here, uh, oh, they're deceiving you. That's a Seven of Swords over here. It's the same energy. It's like you don't know the truth. You don't know, you know, what's going on. It's like, are they deceiving me? You know, I know they're deceiving their self. They're not being honest with me with how they truly feel. Um, I mean, that's a possible outcome. But let's see, why is that here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Queen of Pentacles. So this is stable energy here. Um, I think they, they will, they and this is like the offer here, male, female, doesn't matter. So I feel like they're going to come in, even though you feel like, you know, it's self-deceit, they're not being honest, they're deceitful, blah, blah, blah. I don't know the truth. That's that Seven of Swords energy is repeating over there. But I do see them coming in here with a stable, grounded offer. For the long term, wanting to build long term, pentacles come in and they don't leave, they stay. They bring stability in long term and abundance. Uh, something you can trust here. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. So not coming in as a king, but coming in with that fiery, passionate energy uh, moving forward quickly. So I think, you know, with the soulmate union and all this other energy, it's like once they it hits them that they're really, you know, going to lose you and it may get to that point. Um, 
they're going to come rushing in on their horse here. Very fiery and passionate about not wanting to lose you, Libra. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess. And I had said about you, you know, intuitively you may know this is coming, but you're not seeing it in the physical yet. So just, you know, trusting in your gut and your intuition. Just trust in that. In the King of Cups. So now... There they are coming in as a king or queen with their big old cup of love here in their peace, their harmony, their healing energy. Yep. Page of Swords speaking their truth. Clarity. The world, a whole new chapter with this person. Closing out old ways and now starting a whole new chapter, a whole new world, whole new life with this person. No more sadness and loneliness. Nope. Because now we have a brand new divinely uh, blessed beginning. Here's the offer. There's the new beginning with the offer. Stable, secure for long term. Building for long term. Security and abundance. And there's that divine energy. The Queen of Swords always reminds me of the divine energy there. Bringing in the soulmate with his taking action. Now two knights with his passion and love. And I think divine really helped him to see the way, see the light. To come in. There's a brand new fiery passionate beginning also with the Ace of Wands. Manifesting a brand new beginning. Wow. There's the emperor taking control, taking charge. I just could keep in messages of love there. Messages of love. Now taking control, taking charge, rushing in, manifesting, wanting to manifest this brand new beginning full of passion. The ace of cups over there for love. Coming in with this love. And uh, I think divine here really helped to show him the way, the light, the truth. Stable, grounded for the long term. No more sadness and loneliness. Closing that out for a whole new beginning in life. Speaking with truth and clarity. This big old cup of love as a king or queen, doesn't matter. Just listen to your gut and your intuition and know if you feel that energy is coming in, then it probably is coming in, Libra. Um, you may feel like giving up and walking away on this person, but um, it's okay to kind of like live your life, go on with your own life, do your own thing, and not like cut them out totally like, okay, I'm never taking you back. But just go on living your life, doing your thing, and don't be so focused on them. And they may be showing up your, at your door here with a big old cup of love and passion, ready to commit or marriage or date exclusively, whatever you're hoping for. All that energy is here. Twin flame soulmate. Wow. So the signs that I see are Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Libras, your energy, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see, what is that one? Uh, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, um, or they could be an Earth sign. Let's see, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, the magician that I think I believe is Gemini and Virgo. So I mean we have so many signs here, so they could be anybody. But okay, so let's see. Let's get some extra messages here for you, Libra. I do ask Libra if you like the way I read, if you're new, like my style. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. I do four different readings a month. They're all different. So, and a lot of bonus readings, so you don't miss out. And you can check the description box below if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram and uh, a lot of stuff down there. So let's get, and if you do, thank you. So let's get a message. Well, we got two. So we got soul journey. So yeah, I feel like nine, you know, wishes, dreams coming true energy soul journey so i feel like yeah this has been and i feel, feel like soulmate so i feel like this has been quite a journey between the two of you and did i not just say this person became enlightened so here we have awakening so definitely here this person has had their awakening and we got two which is about unity and people coming together and on the bottom of the deck let's see what we have here nourish 23 which is five which is about change and i do see like this reminds me of like the world, the earth energy, you know, in nourish, you know, I feel like they really heal themselves. They face their fears. They you know now getting, gaining their strength and courage to finally come in and realize what a connection this is. And I feel like they just had to do some nourishing work on themselves 
Now they're ready to nourish this connection between the two of you, Libra. Wow, it's quite a reading, Libra. So I hope this resonated for you and good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.